What's up, YouTube? J Grits P here. Just coming to talk to you about the Polaroid SX70 Sonar, which is probably my favorite Polaroid camera. I know people got their favorites as far as Polaroid, but I really love this one. Maybe it's because the first one I got, I don't know. But man, it's, it's a great model. So when it's folded down like this, very convenient. I'd love to just put it in my backpack and go through Atlanta and just take some good shots. So, a little bit about it, the SX-70 series was, I think it was from 1971, 72, up until about 1980, 81-ish. This is specifically 1978, the sonar is. So, here's what it's folded down. All right, pull this lever, keep pulling. This little leg right here, you're gonna make sure that's locked into position, All right? So, man, look at that, that's so cool. Um, I remember when I first saw this when I was doing research on Polaroid. I was like, man, I've got to get this one. So the diff the the regular SX70 doesn't have the sonar on it, but like I said, this is the sonar, so th this was was their autofocus. So it sends a sound wave out of the circle here. Whatever that sound wave bounces off of first, it's gonna come back and that's what it will focus on. Which is it's pretty cool. Um I'll show you later how it works but the, even better is if you flip the switch right here you can now control the focus with this little switch right here I like you can see it all right and that's good for if it's not exactly focusing on what you want it to focus on or say if you want to take a picture outside of a window uh, it might that's not always going to hit that window so it'll come back so, so it might not focus on exactly what you want to take a picture of let's see what else this has got the night and day switch. I keep it in the middle. Um, I'm not professional here. Here's the button to actually take the picture. You hold it down lightly to autofocus and you push it all the way, of course, to take the picture. To insert the film, you're gonna press this lever right here. It just opens the flap. Pop in the film and then you're good to go. So speaking of film, this obviously takes the SX-70 film Here's the black and white and the color. Back in 2008, Polaroid decided that they were done with uh, making Polaroid film. I mean, maybe because they filed for bankruptcy like twice and things like that. The digital camera just really knocked it out. Um, so people were panicking. People were putting on eBay for like hundreds of dollars. But luckily, two or three entrepreneurs bought one of the last remaining factories. They brought in some people that used to work for Polaroid, so they didn't get the exact formula, but I think they did a pretty good job, considering that's all we have. It was called the Impossible Project, and so they sell their film for about 22 to $28. Um, uh, there's a store that sells it in Atlanta, at least one that I know of, but I mean, you can always order off eBay if your supplies getting low, or Amazon, what have you. Um, they have since changed from Impossible Project to Polaroid Originals. Um, unlike the, you know the originals, you you have ten per pack, but with Polaroid Originals, you only get eight now. So keep in mind, so when you're, you know, when you see your camera get down to two instead of zero, you know you're out of film. Now this also can take the six hundred film, but you're going to need flash, and that's one thing I need to take about for sure is with SX-70, it doesn't have flash. You can buy a flash bar for it. Um, I've ordered it, a flash bar for it. So when it gets here, I will maybe open it with you guys. It'd be great. Uh, but you want to take it outside in a good, good lighting or you want to have a flash. So when you open the film, I'm gonna open it. You're just gonna be in a, another little package. You're gonna rip that open. It's gonna look like this. It's got your I call it the test, test picture or cover picture or what or what have you. But make sure when you pull it out, only hold it by the sides because if you do a lot of pressing on here, then it's gonna ruin the film. Now this is an older one that's already been used because if you see a Polaroid camera at a thrift store or flea market, they don't have batteries in it themselves to, to even test it the film packs themselves are the battery so you see right here 
so what I've done is I've I, I keep them and I put an older picture in there or a picture that I didn't like. I replace the simple picture and so that way I put it in there, I can test the camera and see if it's working. So it works great. So let's I've I've, I've used this one several times actually. So I'm gonna put it in there and hopefully it still works. So like I said, you're gonna hit the switch right here, open it up, take your cartridge, it's got the simple directions on there, make sure this is face up, battery pack, the two silver uh, chips there are gonna go to the back. So, so put it in there, lock it in place, make sure this tabs out so you can get it out later. So let's see what happens. Right on, love it, love it, love it. The Impossible actually used to have like little sayings on there. It was kind of cool, but maybe they thought it wasted money or something. I don't know. So now I can show you the autofocus so you can lightly touch it. Yeah, focusing on you. Man, just overall, this is a great camera. It looks awesome. It's definitely a conversation starter. When I first got it, I brought it to uh, uh, my fellow teacher. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a teacher, actually, so I brought it to my fellow teachers, and they love the students. they never seen it before. So... <laughs> Uh, that was cool to see the reaction to it. I actually told them to uh, write a little passion about what they thought it was. So most of them thought the cell phone. You can see why. I guess from the like, cell phone from the 70s, right? So I'm a, not a fancy YouTuber, so I can't pull up the pictures for you to see. So I'm literally going to hand show you. This is my first shot with this camera. Was it really good? Um, I do love the color film better than black and white. That's just my preference. It makes it look retro, but just keep in mind that if you do mess up one, it's about two, three dollars a shot. So because of the price, um, here is one of my good friends. That really looks retro right there. We just had three snow days recently. What really good lighting, but I wanted to take advantage of the opportunity. And then actually, here's my wife and I. This is the last picture I took with it. So, man, I love that retro. Also, but the snow just reminded me, you want to keep your film, a lot of people keep it in the fridge. They say that's the best. You just don't want it to be too hot or too cold. Don't put it in the freezer at all. Um, so with the snow, I had to go out really fast, take the picture, and then run back in because then it messed with the formula. But so normally, oh, don't, don't shake it. Outcast was steering you wrong. Um, what I like to do is I'll take a picture as soon as it comes out put in my pocket, get it in the dark, let it develop my zone, keep shooting. So by the time I get done, they're all ready to, to look at. Um, I think I think that's pretty good for right now. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. Please, you know, like the video, subscribe. I'll have more about this camera and other Polaroid cameras. It's just, man, it's a, it's a whole lot of fun. It's a different world to get into. I'm still learning. So if, if you feel there's anything else I need to know, please let me know. Um, be nice about it, but please let me know and I'd love to start some more conversations about it um, My question would be if you are a collector, so leave a comment below I mean, do you prefer the SX70 or Do you like the 600 series because the 600 has the plastic lens? Um, I have a 600 LMS um, I mean I like that because that's a built-in flash, but I definitely prefer the SX70 is just a really good camera, period, even without the sonar. But uh, well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell. All that good stuff. Thanks so much, guys.